So in this video, we're going to go through some examples of solving equations that involve thirds. And my target in this is to end up with an answer where uh, the denominator has been rationalized or the third has been simplified. I know I haven't put that explicitly in the question. It just says solve. Um, but that's really what I'm trying to do. OK. So uh, with the first one, we've got x over 3 root 5 is equal to root 10 over 4 root 15. So I'm going to need to multiply uh, both sides by the 3 root 5 uh, to isolate the x. So we're going to have x is equal to root 10 over 4 root 15 times by 3 root 5. Now, I'm just going to write that as 3 root 5 over 1. Now, the numerators are going to multiply root 10 times 3 root 5. And root 10 times root 5 is going to be the square root of 50. So this will be 3 root 50 in the numerator. And the denominator, we've got 4 root 15 times 1, so just 4 root 15. OK. Now, I don't want to leave my answer like that. Um, I'm going to rationalise the denominator. But before I do that, just to make my life a little bit easier, uh, I'm going to simplify the root 50 third first. Now, the reason why I would do that is because I know that in the next step, I'm going to multiply top and bottom by root 15. And I'm going to end up with root 50 times root 15. And then I'm going to have to simplify that third. And at some point, I'm going to have to simplify the thirds down. So it makes sense to simplify first before making what's underneath the square root larger. So root 50. The square root of 50 is the square root of 25 times by the square root of 2. Okay, so I'm going to separate that out now. And of course, root 25 is just 5. So we've got three lots of 5, which is 15. So we've got 15 root 2 over 4 root 15. Now I'm going to... Uh, rationalise the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by root 15. Now you can multiply top and bottom by 4 root 15, but it's just going to make the fraction uh, in the numerator and denominator larger, and then you're going to have to divide through by 4 anyway, so it makes sense not to bother doing that. So just multiply top and bottom by root 15, that's all you need. So in the numerator, we've got 15 root 2 times root 15. So that's going to be 15 root 30. And in the denominator, we're going to have 4 times root 15 times root 15, which is 4 times 15, which is 60. But I'm just going to write that as 4 times 15, because it's then easier to spot that we have a 15 in the numerator, 15 in the denominator. And so what we have is root 30 over 4 or a quarter root 30. Now the root 30 um, cannot be really simplified any further than it is, so one quarter root 30 is as far as I'm going to go, and that's my answer to number one. Right, number two. We have the square root of x times the square root of 24 over 8 is equal to 3 root 6. Now, with this, one thing to note before we start, x um, here, because we've got the root x, x is going to have to be a positive number. I mean, it could be 0, but it's not going to be. But um, it has to be a positive number. That's the start a bit here, So, because we're square rooting it. OK, so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by 8. Get rid of the denominator. 
So we've got the root x, and I'm going to keep the root 24 where it is. And I'm multiplying through by 8, so 3 lots of 8 is 24, so 24 root 6. Now the square root 24 can be simplified, uh, because 24 is 4 times 6. So we have root x times by square root of 4 times square root of 6 is equal to 24 root 6. Now the square root of 4 is of course 2. So we have root x times 2 root 6 is equal to 24 root 6. Now I'm going to divide both sides by the 2 root 6. So we have root 6 over root 6, so they're gone. 24 divided by 2 is, of course, 12. So we have root x is equal to 12. So squaring both sides, x is 12 squared, which is 144. So that's my answer to number 2. So number 3, we have root x over root 2 take away 1 is equal to root 3 plus 1. So the first thing I need to do is to multiply both sides by the root 2 take away 1 to isolate the root x. So we have the square root of x on the left hand side is equal to root 3 plus 1 times by root 2 take away 1. So we need to expand these brackets. So root 3 plus 1 times root 2 take away 1. Now root 3 times root 2 is going to be the square root of 6. Root 3 times minus 1 is minus root 3. Root 2 times 1 is root 2. 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. So expanding the brackets we get root 6 take away root 3 plus root 2, take away 1. OK, that's as simplified as I can write it. Now, in order to get x, I'm going to need to square both sides. So I need to find out what root 6, take away root 3, plus root 2, take away 1 squared is. OK, this is where it's going to get a little bit more tricky. So I need to expand that out. So, root 6 take away root 3 plus root 2 take away 1 multiplied by itself. Okay. Now, this bit's not going to be very easy. Big grid here. So, we have root 6 times root 6, which is 6. Root 6 times minus root 3 is minus root 18. Root 6 times root 2 is root 12. And root 6 times minus 1 is minus root 6. Now, because we're multiplying uh, this by itself, that row is going to be the same as this column. So that's minus root 18, that's root 12, and that's minus root 6. That saves me a little bit of time. We now have minus root 3 times minus root 3. So two minuses, so we're going to get a positive. Root 3 times root 3 is 3. Then minus root 3 times root 2 is going to be minus root 6. And then minus root 3 times minus 1 will be positive root 3. Now, that row is going to be the same as that column. So this is minus root 6, and that's root 3. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. Root 2 times minus 1 is minus root 2. So that's got to be minus root 2 as well. And then minus 1 times minus 1 is, of course, 1. So now we need to collect like terms. So we have 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1, which is going to be 12. We then have minus 2 root 18s. We've got two root 12s. 
we have minus 4 root 6s. We've got 2 root 3s and minus 2 root 2s. Okay, so now can we simplify that? Now the root 18 can be simplified, so can the root 12. So the square root of 18 is the same as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Root 12 is the same as the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Then we've got the minus 4 root 6, the 2 root 3, and the minus 2 root 2. There's nothing I can do with those terms. So we have 12. Root 9 is, of course, 3. So 2 lots of 3 is 6, minus 6 root 2. Root 4 is 2, so 2 2 is a 4, so we've got 4 root 3. Take away 4 root 6, plus 2 root 3, take away 2 root 2. So now I can collect like terms because I've got the 12, I've got the minus 4 root 6. We've then got 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3, so 6 root 3. And then minus 6 root 2, take away 2 root 2, is minus 8 root 2. And so that is the best form I can get our answer to number 3 in. Okay, I can't simplify any further than that.